Jharkhand, the water supply was for 10 minutes and that too on alternate days. We saw our neighbors typically struggle a lot. There used to be fights over water. So all those things we basically faced in our day-to-day -day life right from our childhood. Both of us have a philosophy that child born in a poor family is not his fault or her fault. It's our fault that we have not done enough for them. And that's why they are born poor. That's where we decided that we will build a technology which would help those people to get at least some comfortable life right from their childhood. And that's what we are aiming for continuously, day in, day out. I was raised in a very strict, controlled environment. My mom raised us with all morals and values, just like a typical Indian mother. I think we never traveled away from that community because my father used to earn a very less amount of money and then it was only just good enough for to run a family. We were just hand to mouth. It was their dream uh, that I should either become an engineer or a doctor. So, yes, we had just two choices. Most of my childhood went at a place which was 100 kilometers from the city because that's where my father worked. Uh, he worked in a steel tubes construction uh, unit. In that small town, we, uh, we could not pursue our education uh, further. So my parents took a very tough decision. It was like a sacrifice from their side because my father would stay on in that town and work from there and my mom and three of us actually moved to the city. So father would visit us only once a week. Well, one constant battle that I fought for long was I had depression. It probably started when I was growing up, but I did not realize. Being a kid, I mean, it's very difficult to realize unless someone comes and do the analysis on you. But the kind of uh, family or community I come from where these sort of things are never being realized by anyone. So it took me a long time to come out of it. I had to go through medication, a lot of mental adjustment to myself. So it was the biggest battle that I won finally. And it took me almost a decade to come out of it. Oh, that's one of our hostel room. You were wingmates. Yeah, and wingmates are friends for life. As leaders, probably uh, we need to think of a trade-off between perfection and what would work. I'm driven by passion, not by logic. <laughs> I believe that's my biggest weakness. But uh, that passion is not just for me, that passion is for, for the entire country for my own team, for my own family, <laughs> because I want to bring that change, that uh, good impact in their life. Transurf and its platform helps you bring your decision-making exercise onto one single unified interface, helps you solve the problem of where in your day-to-day decision-making. Transurf's platform typically helps the decision-makers, be it at a government level or at a private sector level. From a common man's perspective, Transurf is a layer which is behind 
a decision maker or behind say a bureaucrat whom the common man would deal with on a day to day basis we want to be the decision enabler not just for the government but for the private sector individuals as well where they can leverage the power of data leverage the power of location to solve these basic decision making problems that they have at hand where they can actually target the unaddressed market segments what we realize that this power of location can solve those basic issues which we face and just putting all of them together on the map if you just present it to government and they would be able to visualize everything okay where are most of the people live who take public conveyance so i need to build uh, bus stops where do i need to provide more water so i think those are the basic problem our cities were facing especially the small towns and all social impact has a huge potential uh, in our country government of odisha wanted to rehabilitate the urban slum and uh, wanted to make odisha completely slum free it was a very noble task and it has affected lot of life now in odisha they can actually think about micro entrepreneurship they can actually leverage the property that they have in hand they could go to a proper bank mortgage the property borrow money for building a new micro business and actually make the lives of their children better we are in process of gathering data about these people who have been ignored uh, since long in our country and if we can show it to the world where the next half billion people lives and what they need using our location platform probably it will give plenty of ideas to people all around especially the young generation there is this whole host of issues that you could simply solve if you keep location at the center or location intelligence at the center what we see transurf going forward is is a google for decision makers you type in your problems the algorithms help you identify the right data sets that would help you solve that problem and they would also suggest the right models that you would need to apply on those data sets to solve the problem at hand for us the measure of success is the social impact that our business anyway generates but also the impact that we have created in the lives of our own employees we are here for a reason we are not here just to get a good fancy job in a mnc we are here to create jobs to create livelihood for others to come so problems in our country are great opportunities all what we need is a different mindset to look at them and create a solution and then build businesses around it so it's a great place for opportunities all what we need to think differently that's it